Hey y'all, what's up? We're back at it again with another video. So, uh, today, we're about to get back into this video and today I have, I'm coming to y'all with a story time. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me. But this is a story time about how I catfished someone as a celebrity. So, you know, let's get into this video. So, y'all, right? So, this story happened when I was about somewhere between like 13 and like 15, somewhere, somewhere between then. But I think I was like a freshman high school, it's so like 14, 14. So, you know, if y'all know who, you know, Milo's behavior is. Look at how my dear, she loves me. Yeah, that, right? So, I created a fan page on Facebook. This is like when Facebook was like really like, it like when everybody wanted to Facebook and stuff. So, I created a fake page of Rock Royal. I don't know why I did that, but I just felt like I needed to create a fake page of Rock Royal. The page is, is not active no more as Rock Royal. So then they started coming up with his name as Trey Young. So little old me was like, you know what? I want to become a fan page so I can get all these following. And then, you know, because I, I was trying to yeah, just get a following like that, right? 14, 13, 14, 15, one of those three ages. Don't know why, but so I'm like, okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I created this page and let me show y'all. Let me, let me, let me show y'all because the page is still here. Cause I looked at it the other day. Um, it's called Trey Fan Page Young. Yep, this is the page. It is still, so active people really thought that I was a fan page like they didn't even, first of all they didn't even see the fan page part they just skipped right over the fan page part and was like and was like oh that's that's rock royal oh my gosh that's rock royal we're about to talk to rock royal so you know on this page I will be posting like Hold on, let me show y'all. I was really up here posting like pictures, like Anton Nehi would post a picture. I was posting updates about school and stuff. <laughs> like I was really like, I was really invested. Like I was invested, like this was my whole life. Like I like, I'll come home from school, get on my desktop and get on this page and be acting with these people. And then I would have my phone outside when I'm with my friends be active on this page so fast forward a little bit fast forward a little bit this girl dms me right so she's thinking i'm rock royal so you know i'm playing along with it. Like, i wish i could get in here to really show y'all these messages but i don't have the email or nothing to get into it so She's showing me these, like, she's like, oh, Rock Royal, I love you so much. Like, I want to be with you, blah, 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 blah. So, you know what? Little old me was going to run with it. So, what did I do? Run with it, making her think that I was Rock Royal. So, when y'all, y'all probably looking at y'all screen like, what you mean you ran with it so basically this is what i did right we was talking in you know the inbox and you know we was talking every day get home from school every day talking to each other but i really felt like this was like the catfish episode because i was watching catfish and i was invested like i was really invested in this like like i made this girl my girlfriend like <laughs> everything like <clears throat> so 
Like, she's like saying we're together and all of this. So, you know, other people was like mad, really mad about this. Hold on, let me see if I can pull it up for you. Cause I'm really, so yeah, like this was all in 2012, by the way. I'm sorry to whoever this was. Um, here, so they should have knew this was me the whole time. So technically, I don't really think it's my fault that I catfished somebody. But basically, back to the story. So basically, she thought we was together, together like like she thought I was her man. Like she was calling me babe, baby, and all of that. So I'm going with it. Go with it. Go with it. Cause you know, Mother's Behavior used to do my girl of the week. So she thought she was my girl every day. Hmm. One, you're like 13, 14, thinking that you're dating a celebrity at the time. And they wasn't even active on social media. They didn't even have their, I don't think they had their own Instagrams at the time just yet. So I'm just like, why do you think you're with this guy? But, you know, I'm going to just go with him. So we're going, like, we're talking every day, every day. She tells me how she loves me. I'm looking at the phone like, oh, I don't really know you, girl, so I really can't say I love you. But I got his character. I was acting like him. I was like, yeah, you know, we love our all mindless fans. Yada, yada, yada. And then she was posting pictures. I think it was actually a collage on her. I don't want to put the girl face on her. So I'm probably going to cover her face. But she was talking about, she was telling everybody that she was going out with Rock Royal. And that he was her man. Showed it. I don't want to put her face on her. But. Two twenty eleven, 2011 So basically, I made it seem like it was going out for a whole year. And then I just vanished. Oof. Off the face of the earth. So, yeah. Um... She thought we was together every day. She was always writing on my wall, talking about this is my boyfriend. I love him. All of this. Um, I was really like, I was catfishing a lot of people in here too. It was like, look at this. Like, I was really invested. Like, this was like my whole life. Like. I wasn't really going in. And then you know something? Till this day, this girl will probably never know it was me. I have her on my main Facebook, but I don't really think she'd be on here no more. So let me apologize to this girl. Um, I mean, I tried to tell you, sis, that I was a girl. You, you can't just trying to overpass it i was dropping pictures of myself on this page a lot saying that's my best friend when it was me baby the whole time and it's just like now that i think about it because now that i'm like 25 now and i'm like damn i really sat here and catfished somebody when i was like 13 so I really did this like 12 years ago. And like, I didn't really sit here and think about it. Like, I would be mad to say somebody catfish me. Because why catfish, why catfish me if you want to act like somebody else should be yourself. I might like you, but not now. I, I, not right now, not right now. Never again in a lifetime will I ever do catfish. But catfish was really like a show because I learned a lot with that show because I was fully invested in this in this fake relationship. In this fake relationship. 
really had this girl really thinking that she was with me. Like, I'm just so happy, like, it didn't get to the point where she was stalking me. Because if she would have started stalking me, I, I don't know. But I do, to this day, I do feel bad that I catfished this girl about being rock and roll. And then this didn't even really go on long because my desktop had broke. So I couldn't really fully invest into it for like four years. I really only invested into it. And well, this was the catch right here though. She always wanted to get on the phone and, you know, um, talk on the phone and um, text on a regular phone. So now I wasn't stupid because, you know, they showed me that stuff. But I always used to tell her, we could talk on Facebook, we could talk on here, we could talk on here, we could talk on here. We don't have to FaceTime. Oh, I'm about to go to sleep. It's, it's like 3 a.m. in Cali. <laughs> like, I was like giving times, days, time. I was following my behavior on Twitter, trying to figure out if they was on tour, if they got interviews, if they was in rehearsal. Like, my life, when I tell you I was invested, invested, but yeah, you know, I'm sorry again. And you know, I'm sorry I catfished you, girl.